explosion imminent explosion that is what we are all after that 100x or more in this market i'm about to talk to you about what's been happening in the past 24 hours what's happening today and what is about to happen in this market to send us soaring all i ask is if you like this content drop an x smash like button share the video now sec what have they been doing in the past 24 hours they met with all spot bitcoin etf issuers i'm going to say that again all spot bitcoin etf issuers and what they're telling them is they need to change from in-kind redemptions on their filings to cash creates only this is a done deal negotiating is done and as they say the finer details are just now being hashed out so with gary gensler as the biggest paid actor of them all what has he long been trying to do help his buddies on wall street as these bitcoin etfs with fees and everything else that's going to be involved here is going to single-handedly help them he knows that he's about to give this market a green light and he knows he has the ability so this has been a story this has been a book that's already been written now along with that here is a chart dating back to 2015 what you can see based off this curving reversal is we have about an imminent flip of all coins from red to green we are literally about to to go parabolic in terms of market cap and this money coming off the sidelines from institutions and the likes of 30 trillion potentially coming in this market based off this green light of the etf approvals now with that being said Gary Gensler says that he's after non-compliance. He's been going after the blue chips, distracting us, saying that Algorand, the likes of Ripple and the others are the problem. Algorand now up 3x from when I was talking about it back in October and really the beginning of this year, I was talking all about Algorand. It was down to eight cents at lows at the beginning or about two months ago. Now it's 3 x as this has all just been a big distraction. Now we see, we take a closer look at what is truly happening at the narrative into 2024. 100% will be CBDCs, will 100% be tokenization. Ripple has just came out and confirmed that. We've got 30 trillion, again, 30 trillion about to be unlocked on this market. I don't believe there's a 98% or 97%, I believe we're 99.9% .9 sure of the January 10th date. Now, along with that, we are on the hills of United States history being written as well as the rest of the global markets. As we see everything that Biden and Trump are going after, going against, they're getting about to be into election time, as this is going to end up being one of the biggest focuses of their runs, in my personal opinion. A lot of people are sleeping on the fact that this election time is going to actually bring a lot of eyes to this market. And we see who is actually becoming a lot more bullish. Now, with that being said, guys, we have Hong Kong saying as prepared for ETF applications. We have the UK making a country, making the country a crypto hub. We've got BRICS trading over 500 billion in local currencies, which they will need native assets like XRP that's ran on the XRPL and like XLM that's ran on the Stellar and a few other digital assets that have been the chosen one. And we've got Argentina embracing Bitcoin and crypto. We've also got just confirmed six new countries, the UAE, Iran, Argentina, Egypt, and Ethiopia all getting invited to the BRICS. Again, 500 and billion current and currencies being moved back and forth currently. BlackRock just leaked. It was just leaked. BlackRock has a memo, memo stating the XRP will be used for cross-border payments. And Swift just came out and showed that this year we have made the most progress in ISO compliant 2022 compliance for adoption of CBDCs and tokenized assets. What projects focus on CBDCs and tokenized assets? I know I'm ready for the ride. Let me know in the comments section. Click the like button and share the video. And we'll see you all in the next video.